Hey guys, welcome back. Today we have another Glow Addict the Beauty Box unboxings, but this is actually their beauty box. This one goes for, I wrote it, I wrote it on the back because I have mommy brain going on right now, but this one goes for $18.99. Every single month you're gonna get five to seven beauty products and it's delivered right to your door and look at this packaging, it's like everything, right? So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna open her and we're gonna see what was included in this box, the palette in their beauty bag was stunning and that bag was only $13.99 a month and honestly it was pretty good like I ain't gonna lie it was really good so for this one being just a few bucks more $18.99 a month I just want to see what's inside and kind of play around with the products and see what almost $20 will get us with Glow Addict to Beauty Box and yes they sent this over my way for review and unboxing I didn't pay for this box but I still keep it real before I dive in on the box I want to show you guys my little trick I have this uh, Huda Beauty setting spray, the resting boss face. It's really good. Like it'll freeze the makeup on your face, but I just don't like that it's not like one of those ongoing aerosol sprays. So what I do is I just kind of spray my hair cause it is heavily fragranced when I have like really bad flyaways. Cause y'all know my part is so random and I do one of these and it actually helps the hair stay out of my face. <laughs> I mean, it's as strong as hairspray. Take it as you will. I don't think it's a necessarily like bad thing for the face, but you can multitask it. <laughs> All right, here we go. So the first item I see in this box is a Derma E product. Now in the beauty bag, I received a sample packet of a mask and it was by Derma E and you guys swore by it. Everyone was saying how Derma E is an amazing brand. So the fact that this was included in my box, I'm actually pretty excited because I, I don't feel like I've ever used Dharma E products except that mask, which was really, really nice. So this here is their Advanced Peptides and Collagen Serum. It is GMO-free, cruelty-free, 100% vegan, gluten-free, soy-free, and recyclable. It has no parabens, no phthalates, no formaldehyde, no petroleum, no sulfates, no mineral oils, no artificial colors, and no artificial fragrances. And I feel like I've been dancing, but this is what the product looks like, you know? This is a full size, but it's a really nice size. You can use it during the day or night. I pumped some on my hand and we're just gonna apply this. My face is completely clean. I actually just moisturized. I got out of the shower. I blow dried my, fa my face. <laughs> I told you I have mommy brain. I blow dried my hair. That's what I meant to say. And then I was like, okay, now that you're feeling a little better, you're no longer as nauseous, get to filming and have some fun. And being that this is like a morning night type of serum, I'm gonna let this sit so that we can like apply a primer and then go in with our face. This has a slightly medicinal scent, almost like an essential oil. It's not bad though. Okay, mama, mama bear is getting hot. So we're gonna pull the hair back. Okay, next product in the box. I feel so stupid right about now. So this is a hemp leaf multi repair facial mask and i already put my serum on so i'm not going to use this here now but i do save my masks i have one drawer and i just like randomly pick a mystery mask for the night whenever i do have time to go ahead and actually like apply a mask and i'm not like dying because i'm exhausted but these always come in handy and this symbol here always Kind of raises alert. A lot of people are still not very comfortable with CBD. Me being one of them, I totally get it. But this is an opportunity to try something different. And it says it is for all skin types. Why does my face look so glowy? But by the way, that serum dried and it's like matte, not sticky. It's not oily, nothing. So you get a mask in the month of April. You're getting a Cara Beauty product. And what are you, oh, this color is pretty, hold on. This is the Liquid Rouge Matte Lipstick. Apparently the shade is delicate. I believe I've tried Cara Beauty in the past. I think it was more of a gloss. So that's kind of different. And it says a matte liquid lipstick. So we're gonna set this to the side. We're gonna use this for a look in a quick second. Then we have this over here, which says floral lip gloss with real flowers. And it actually has flowers on the inside. Let me see if you guys can see this. I think the idea behind it is really cute. The only thing is I, I oh, it said like cherry flavored. Um, I, oh, I don't do glosses like this, like at all. So I'm gonna take a little bit on the back of my hand. Oh, oh, and it's sticky, mira. It, yeah, no, this is a sticky. So I'm gonna pass 
on this lip gloss, but I want to smell it. It does kind of have a little scent of cherry, so I think that's cute. And the presentation is really nice. It has pink and red flowers on the inside. I wonder what kind of flowers they are. It is cute though. And then last but not least, I got the Indica, I think, is it Indica? 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 Millennial Butte Palette. It is infused with cannabis sativa. I received the sativa palette. Go check that video out. I'm gonna link it up here and in the description box. You guys really liked the look I created with that palette, but that palette was so pretty, performed beautifully, pigmented, not super light. It wasn't powdery at all, really. It blended like a freaking dream. That palette was really nice. So I, I, now I have high hopes for this one, but look at this color story though. <laughs> Look at this color story. Is she not pretty? This glitter though, very Mardi Gras. Very, very Mardi Gras. I'm excited. I, it looks like we're going pink and purple today and it kind of goes with my shirt. I've used this shirt recently, guys. I'm very limited to what, what I fits, okay? Nine months pregnant, what else can we do? I'm very limited to what fits. Don't judge me. All right, so out of this box so far, I've used the serum. I'm going to skip on the mask today, and I'll use that maybe later, if not tomorrow. The lip gloss, we're gonna forward to Sambari, which was more than likely my little Tai Tai, my seven-year-old. So it looks like the items that I'll be using out of the box are these two right here. So we're gonna go ahead and dive in, create a look with these two products. So let's dive on in and play around with the eyeshadow palette first. Not only am I excited for the palette, but I'm excited for these brushes. So Alter Ego sent these over my way, and you guys know I was packing and trying to get myself together and put my whole life into boxes so that I could move. And it was a very long process, so I never got around to using the brushes, but they sent me their entire brush collection. These are new. Let me prep the brushes. Y'all know I have to take them out of the packaging and clean them and everything, but I wanted to show you guys. I'm using brand new brushes today by Alter Ego. On the crease, I went in with Granddaddy Perp. You guys can see, we're gonna apply her here. By the way, I just wanna say, do you guys know I'm not about like that? CBD life or hemp life or anything of that green nature. And I don't feel bad about it. It's just not my vibe. I've always been that way and it kind of is what it is. You guys realized it very well because <laughs> I was sitting here like, I had no idea where the names for the previous palette, the Sativa palette came from. And I was like, I wonder how they come up with these names. And you guys were like, those are like different names. So like hemp, 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 hemp. Anyway, and I was just like, oh. <laughs> I didn't know that, so yeah. But I think it's creative, it's cool, it's different. And once again, look at this, it looks really good. So Millennial Butte has done their thing. Now we can move on to the pink shadow, which is called Skittles. We're gonna apply this all over the lid. Wow, that's like really pigmented. I'm still impressed. Like look, I'm patting it in place and I have yet to see any fallout. I'm gonna grab that initial brush we used before and I'm, I just, I wanna deepen the purple a little bit, so we're gonna use blueberry. I'm just gonna go in uh, like using the tip of the brush, not the edges or anything. I'm gonna tap out a little bit and then we're going to dust that on the outer corner a little bit. These brushes are really well made for being affordable. I mean, Alter Ego did their thing. If you haven't heard of the brand Alter Ego, I've featured them here on my channel. They've been sending me products for quite some time and honestly, there hasn't been not one that has disappointed. The quality of their eyeshadow palettes are amazing and clearly their brushes, I just washed them. They dried really, really fast and look like they're blending. It looks really good. They feel really good. They're very well made and I mean, they feel like really expensive, high quality brushes and they look really pretty too. Look how beautifully this is just packing on the color. And because I feel like we have to, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna grab another brush and I'm just gonna blend that edge out there. That way it's not like super harsh. You want it to look like smeared butter, just nice and smooth. Smeared butter, am I hungry again? Because I just said smeared butter. Who thinks of smeared butter when they're doing their makeup? I'm probably the only one, right? And whenever I get pressed glitters, you know I feel like I have to. So I'm gonna go in with Northern Lights, which is definitely like super Mardi Gras. It's so pretty. And I'm gonna, <gasps> I kind of feel like that's a lot, but I also kind of feel like it's not. And I'm not exaggerating. I just, I, 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 that's all I picked up. I was not expecting it to be this like intense and or dramatic. I think it's fly AF. Oh my God, I almost cursed. <laughs> 
Oh, the, I, 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 it is so pretty. Oh my God, this is so pretty. Oh no, that is, that is, that is millennial beauty. You guys need to sell this individually, like in a pan. Just <laughs> listen to me. You need to sell it individually in a pan. It's that good. Like people need to be able to buy that on its own if they wanted to. And I'm pretty sure I can almost guarantee they will. I am such a sloppy person. I ended up getting glitter under my eyes. I got too excited. Too, too excited. I prepped some lashes. Let's see what it looks like with lashes on. My face is completely on, FYI. I did my no foundation makeup. So if you guys wanna check it out, I'm gonna link the video down below in the description box as well as up here because I have no foundation on my skin. My base is actually the Wonder Glow Instant Soft Focus Beauty Flash by Charlotte Tilbury. It is like an illuminating base. You can use it as a primer. You can use it under foundation to add some luminosity to your skin, but it is not a foundation. It is super, super, super sheer. Now we get to try the Cara Beauty Lippy. Now that I think about it, I think I might've actually received an actual lippy lippy by the brand. I can't think about it. I don't know, my brain, you guys know this hasn't been working. So, um, but this is the shade Delicate. Oh no, mija, this is not gonna work with the eyes. I'll apply it and then I'm gonna blend it with something else because this bright, Coral is just not going to work with the eyes. No, it's not. Application is slightly patchy. It, it's, it's, it's almost like it wants to be opaque, but then all of a sudden it's kind of not in certain areas. It kind of started feeling sticky, but it's kind of not sticky right now. I guess it's wearable, but when it comes to like the lips and the eyes, it's just not gonna work. Maybe as it dries a little longer, the slight tackiness goes away, but I mean, I'm not too upset about it. I just don't like the color with the eyes. This is a little more toned down and wearable if you're wondering what shade I added to the lippy. It is Pinkies Up by ColourPop. Super, super pretty nude, but it's more of a brownie nude, so it did tone down the orange that we have going on, but as you can see in the perimeters, um, you can still see it, so I'm gonna diffuse that line just a little bit. This is the completed look. So overall, I think the box was really nice. My only thing is like this color, you know, it just didn't work with the eyes. But then again, it's no one's fault. Where's the palette? It was right in front of me. It was under a mirror. I don't think that this would have gone with any of the shades in like the three columns over here. It is what it is. I was able to make it work. That's, that's what matters. Once again, the standout product for me is the palette. It was so good. It would look how pretty, pretty, purple, purple. Last time it was green, this is purple. I'm really excited for it. I do have another box to unbox from Glow Addict Beauty Box for you guys. It is actually their XL box that they sent over my way for unboxing and review. Also, this, this month is a Glow Addict month. So get excited, I have another Glow Addict Beauty Box unboxing coming your way. It is another tier. So this is an opportunity for you to see with each tier what it is that you can potentially receive for the price range. I do think they're worth the money being that the first one that I unboxed is $13.99 and we got some awesome stuff in that one. This was $18.99 and I got some awesome stuff in this one. I wonder what's in the XL box. What if there's another palette? <laughs> I hope so. I don't know. I don't know if there is, but I hope so. As per usual, I am linking Glow Addict Beauty Box down in the description box. Make sure you guys go check them out and sign up before the boxes sell out. Let me know down below what do you guys think about this box, the price range, the palette, the products that came inside of it, and the makeup look, of course, that I created for you guys today. And that is a wrap for this video. Thank you so much for choosing to spend a few minutes out of your day with me. It really means a lot. Make sure you check out the videos that are coming here on screen. There are more unboxings, tutorials, how-tos, and all that good stuff. I know you guys are gonna absolutely love and I'll see you guys over there. Bye guys.